Well, Vince Van Patten, welcome to my corner. So good to be in this corner. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Um, we're here at Legends. Yeah. How many times have you been here? Done a final table for the WPT here. Well, this is our sixth year yeah. at the bike. But I used to play here 20 years ago. You know, the bike was the premier place to play in Los Angeles. Yeah. And it keeps growing and it gets better and better. But this year, for this tournament, I'm impressed by the field. 485 players, $1.6 million to the winner. These guys are struggling out right now. They're great players, very, very mm -hmm. you know, eclectic mm -hmm. sort of players going after big money. So it's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Who do you think, uh, I, I don't want you to play favorites here, no. but who do you think has a good shot? You know, poker is a game where everyone has a shot these yeah. days, you know. So it's uh, who is going to get lucky this week? I know, and That's the you're bottom right. line. Who is going to get lucky? It's not even about talent anymore. You can throw that out the window. Everyone has talent. Everybody's good. Right, you know, right. Who wants it more? Whose destiny is it to this week? I feel like Joe Seabock wants it the most. He's never made a WPT final table. I'll tell you something, what he has going for himself, he is a very positive guy. You see Joe C back at the table. He's like he's like Daniel Negrano. They're very like like very positive guys. They're mm -hmm. always thinking good things. They're always happy go lucky. And I do, I, do, I do think that rubs off in your poker game. Mm -hmm. So maybe he has a little bit of an edge there. But you have Dan Harrington. You got Gavin Griffin over there with the pink hair. I mean that is a great character right there. Yeah. So uh, it, it's going to be a good one. And as you know, we're shooting the final table of Legends and then uh, Ladies Night final table. Oh, yes. You know. Doyle Brunson's daughter, how do you beat that? I mean, she, she, Pam is be, yeah. really, really good, yeah. and she did very well here. Yeah. She busted last night. She didn't make the money, but she got a heck of a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. today she's playing sit and goes. so I think she's really preparing for this. So exciting. Ladies Night is so great, because ladies get more excited than the men in, in yeah. their event. They really do, and it's a big, big event. So just two great, great tournaments going on here in L.A., you know. Have you ever played at a table with just women? You and a bunch of no, ladies? No, no, I haven't had that, that chance yet. I'd love to, actually. It sounds like fun. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't happened. But uh, usually the woman at the table is uh, a big distraction, especially if she's you know flirting a little bit or the, yeah. the hybrid. It's a that big edge for you girls. It can be dangerous. It really is. I mean, everyone is, you're not playing a game, you're distracted. You know, yeah. they have that edge. So it's wide open for women at the poker table. And guys want to call us down for some reason. Oh, yeah. You, want to call, you don't want to beat you, first of all. You don't want you to knock, knock the pretty girl out of the, off the table. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. So it's like uh, you feel guilty, so you play a little softer. You got a great edge. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. This is so great to be in your corner here. Yes, and, you know, you're more than welcome to come sit in my seat. You know, we're just... Yeah. Hanging out here, having a good time. I love it, and I uh, hope the people out there are going to enjoy the, the bicycle casino this week. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. We see will you. see you later.